and Andrews' government minister strictly stuck on Australia's first tax, where Victoria intends to accommodate short-term accommodation. While government is preparing to announce the expected housing statement for a long time, age will begin to discuss at a cabinet meeting next week. According to report, the tax on short-term accommodation, which will affect properties listed on platforms, including Airbnb and stays, may be up to 7.5%. A tax on this amount will add about 42 to the short-term accommodation on the Mornington Peninsula and 17 at a night to stay in metropolitan Melbourne. However, at a press conference on Friday, workers' deputy Gabrielle Williams would not be drawn on the figure that the government would continue for a short-term confusion. Victoria is reported to apply a tax of up to 7.5% in short-term accommodation, mental health, ambulance services and treaty and the first public minister Ms. Williams. I will not evacuate any announcement in advance, he said. Premier, as you are well aware, said he had a housing declaration on the horizon. This really accepts we know the house is one of the biggest pressures in our community and we know than one different parts for it, and how we alleviate this pressure on local families. Soon we will have more to say. Levied in money collected by the government government to build more social and affordable housing, and used to renew existing houses are reported. Gabrielle Williams told journalists on Friday, the government's housing plans in Victoria very soon will know said. Levy was first marked in late July when Prime Minister Daniel Andrews said that Labour said that all options were on the table as part of the overhaul of housing policy. At that time, reaction from the opposition and tourism organs was considered a $5 tax on reservations for short-term rental and reservations for hotels in state. On Friday, 3AW host Neil Mitchell exploded because he thought of the tax in the face of financial insufficiency. And Victoria's net debt reached $171.4 billion by 202,627. I don't have a problem with getting more social housing. But this is a tax for not only for social housing, but to meet financial disabilities, said. We have highest taxation state in country. We have biggest debt of country. And now they want a new tax to provide something that government should provide. Which is social housing. Now the premier will sell it this responsible social policy. If we weren't deep in debt, we wouldn't have needed it. However, Michael Fotheringham, general manager of Australian Housing and Urban Research Institute, said that it was a logical step to examine the ways to increase supply in housing crisis. Currently, aside from social housing needs, we have a shortage of housing to meet the needs of the rental market, said. It is a logical step start to balance this a little more and look at how we can improve our housing supply. If Mr. Fotheringham in Curra